Hey, welcome back to the Eat Well Dietitian YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me. Uh, today I'm going to do something a little different. Um, it's getting nice outside, the time has changed, so I kind of want to get outside and use my Traeger. And one of the breweries in our town is having a chili cook-off, so I want to enter chili into the contest. Um, so I'm going to make kind of a smoky, smoky chili and use my Traeger to do that. You may be wondering what this has to do with nutrition. Um, cooking and doing something creative on the weekend is really, really good for me personally. So this is kind of something fun I wanted to do. And chili actually can be part of a healthy diet. Um, it is high in protein, high in fiber. Um, and I'll show you a picture of how you can incorporate it into a healthy meal. Okay, but let's get back to the chili contest. So. I'm gonna make my bean, my beans uh, with dry beans. I found a nice um, chili bean mix at Winco, and I'm gonna cook them in my crock pot and flavor them with some spices and a little bit of bacon. And then I have an elk roast here that my father-in-law gave me, so I decided I'm gonna sear that off and then let it smoke on the trigger for a couple hours and then throw it in with the beans and let it finish cooking. And then I've got all my veggies here, and I'm gonna chop them or um, cut them up and put them on a cookie sheet and put them on my Traeger and let them smoke and then um, cut them up, for, up further to let them finish cooking in in with the rest of the chili and I think that'll give it a nice uh, smoky flavor but not overpowering. All right let's get going on chili. First for my chili I'm working on making beans so I'm gonna saute a half a pound to a pound of bacon and then I'm gonna add one chopped onion to that and just cook it until the onion starts to turn translucent. So that should be eh, two or three minutes and the onion will take up some of the flavors of the bacon. And I've got my crock pot out. I'm adding two cups of dry beans. I found a chili bean mix. And then I'm gonna add in the cooked onions and bacon that I just prepared. Next up are my spices. So I'm doing three teaspoons of garlic, a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and two teaspoons of beef bouillon. And then I'm gonna add six cups of water. everything a little stir and cook on low for four to six hours. Now I'm gonna prep my veggies. I'm just slicing them into kind of big chunks and then I'm gonna put them on my Traeger to smoke for two hours. And I've got garlic cloves on there as well. Next I'm gonna sear my elk roast. So I'm using canola oil because it has a little bit higher smoke point than olive oil. And elk actually cooks really fast, so it doesn't take very long for each side to sear. And I'm not cooking it, I just want to kind of sear in some of the flavor. As you can see, just in that short time period, it's getting stuck to the pan already and I kind of have to pry it off there. Adding a little pepper. Getting the edges seared off. And that's pretty much it. It's a real fast, real fast sear when you're using elk. And I'm putting it on the Traeger next to my veggies and I'm gonna let all those things smoke for a couple hours. So everything's all smoked now. I've diced up my elk meat to put in the chili and putting all my chopped up smoked, I chopped up all those veggies that were smoking so now I'm adding those. You could just add everything to the pot or you could saute your vegetables first to get a nice little saute going. And really I want to finish cooking the elk in in the pot and now I'm adding the cooked beans and bacon that I did in the crock pot and you can see 
see all the colors and how pretty it's gonna look. I roasted off some frozen corn in the oven for about 20 minutes, so it kind of has like a, a nice roasted flavor to it, so I wanna add that into my chili. And give everything a little stir. And I forgot the most important ingredients. I didn't add chili spices, so remember to add your cumin, your chili powder, maybe a little uh, cayenne. So here we are at the at the contest. There's the contestants and their chili and my finger in the video. And then the prizes from Wild Wide Brewing. So it came down to we were tied. Me and one other person were tied for the chili contest. So it ended up becoming a game of rock, paper, scissors as to who was the winner. And I lost her chili one, but it was a really fun evening of making some new friends, eating some good chili, and I want a new sweatshirt from Wild Ride Brewing. Thanks so much for watching my chili video, and I will put a recipe in the YouTube description.